listening to colleagues uh, from uh, small island states over the last few weeks uh, and months has been one of the most harrowing experiences in my preparations for this COP26 summit because it's so obvious that for some people, some communities, some countries at this COP, the transformation that is happening now is not a matter for, as I was saying, it's for our, our, our children and our, our grandchildren. This is something that is an existential threat as we sit here in Glasgow today. And last year, 600 billion tons of ice melted away in Greenland. All that water has to go somewhere. And it's incredibly cruel that these vulnerable, small uh, island states are right in the front line of the, the loss and damage that is caused by, uh, by global warming. The UK is also, of course, contributing uh, financially uh, to, uh, to our uh, to, uh, infrastructure. Excellencies, infrastructure for resilient island states, IRIS, ka launch ek nai asha jagata hai. नया विश्वास देता है ये सबसे वनरेबल देशों के लिए कुछ करने का संतोष देता है what we're speaking about here, of course, to address climate change, you have to reduce emissions, and that is a huge part of the response to climate change, of course, but we also have to adapt to live with the consequences of climate change that is already occurring, that is already built in, that is already going to impact on the lives and livelihoods, particularly of those in island nations all around the world. Thank you, Excellencies, and Bula Vanaka, and a very good morning to you. But there is a gap, trillions of dollars deep, between what uh, vulnerable nations have and what they need to build resilience to a climate crisis we did, uh, we did next to nothing to cause. To commend and congratulate the conveners of this timely in The initiative being launched today rightly focuses attention on SIDS as we are on the front line of the climate crisis. As we all know, a single disaster can derail the entire budget of a small island developing state. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I have great pleasure in joining you this morning for the launching of the infrastructure. Our island is negatively impacted by the effects of climate change. Extreme weather events occur frequently. Flash floods have resulted in loss of lives and caused serious damage to infrastructure. Small island developing states or states are home to unique landscapes, vibrant cultures and traditional ecosystems. Resilient infrastructure is a key driver in mitigating disaster and climate risks while also meeting the development aspirations of SIDS. SIDS are climate and disaster resilience into infrastructure systems to ensure sustainable development. I would like to say that SIDS